announced its new Core Ultra 200 series desktop CPUs based on the new Arrow Lake a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately though, at the time we were only allowed to tell you how fast Intel claimed that its new CPUs were. However, in this video, we can finally share the benchmark results run by the tech whizzes in our 3XS systems build team. Before we do that though, however, let's do a quick recap of Core Ultra 200 series. Now this is what Intel may have called 15th gen if it hadn't decided to change its branding for the first time since 2009. Key features being a new multi-tile build method and dedicated AI accelerator. And if you haven't already seen it, make sure to check out our original deep dive video on these new features and capabilities linked in the video description. For reference though, here are the specs of the first three Core Ultra 200 series CPUs alongside their 14th gen equivalents. Now though, on with the benchmarks. We set up three test systems, all configured as identically as possible for a fair comparison. The Intel Core Ultra 200 series system had an Asus Tough Gaming Z890 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. The Intel 14th gen core system had an Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Hero and the AMD Ryzen 9000 series system, an Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Hero. Then they all had the same 32 gigabytes of Corsair Dominator DDR5 memory, an Asus RTX 4090 Tough GPU, one terabyte Samsung 990 Evo SSD, a Corsair HX1500i PSU and Windows 11 Pro. First up, Cinebench R23 is based on the popular modeling, animation and rendering application Cinema 4D. And this test renders a complex scene on a single thread. Now, whilst you'd never deliberately choose to only render using a single thread, this is an interesting test as it reveals the raw performance difference between the various CPU architecture. And whilst there's not much in it, the new Core Ultra 9 285K does take first place, edging 2% ahead of the old Core i9-14900K. The next Cinebench test we ran renders the same scene as the previous test, but now on all available threads, so it generally favours CPUs with lots of cores and threads. In this test, the Core Ultra 9 285K has a clear lead over the other CPUs, 4% faster than the Ryzen 9 9950X and 15% faster than the Core 9 14900K. Now this is particularly impressive when you consider that the 285K has fewer threads than the 14900K 24 versus 32. We also ran the popular synthetic game benchmark 3D Mark Time Spy on all of the CPUs. The results here contrast quite sharply with Cinebench as the old Core i9 14900K was able to keep its crown, outperforming the new Core Ultra 9 285K by 4%. While an old CPU beating a new CPU might seem shocking, it's actually in line with Intel's own testing, which also shows a slight performance drop in games between the Core Ultra 200 series and 14th Gen Core. However, it is worth bearing in mind that a key objective of Core Ultra 200 series was increased power efficiency, and that the 298K consumes much less power running 3D Mark than the 14900K. More on this later. And whilst we're speaking of power efficiency, the Core Ultra 9 285K drew the most power whilst rendering in Cinebench. It was also the fastest. Running the numbers, the 285K produces 163 points per watt of electricity consumed, whilst the older 14900K produces just 146 points. That said, despite Intel's significantly improved power efficiency, AMD is more power efficient still, with the Ryzen 9 9950X producing 205 points per watt. Digging into this further, we also compared the power consumption of the 285K versus the 14900K in 3D Mark. Now, in this situation, the 285K produces 231 points per watt versus the 14900K, which produces just 165. Once again, a huge improvement in power efficiency gen on gen for Intel. 
So in conclusion, the Core Ultra 200 series marks a step change for Intel with a new construction method, increased I.O., hardware accelerated AI and improved architecture. And whilst performance is not better than the previous gen Intel CPUs across every workload, with rendering being faster but gaming being slightly slower, power efficiency is massively improved. And given that PCs consume way more power than their predecessors, this increase in efficiency is very welcome indeed, especially as it follows hot on the heels of the notoriously power-hungry 14th Gen Core. So if you've been holding off upgrading from an older Intel CPU, you can now do so with confidence. Let us know in the comments though what you think of the performance and power efficiency of Intel's new Core Ultra 200 series CPUs. Then why not head over to the SCAN website to check out the full range of CPUs and associated components, plus of course our amazing 3XS system PCs, built by the same wizards who helped provide the benchmarks for this video. Thank you.